So our goal in this problem is to solve this fourth order differential equation and simply we're just going to apply the characteristic equation and solve that and apply the general rule for the solution of this differential equation. But there's going to be a slight trick with it and that's due to multiple roots or repeated roots. So the characteristic equation is going to be this r to the fourth minus 8r cubed plus 16r squared equals zero. So now we have to solve this algebraic expression. So I'm going to factor out an r squared. And then I'm also going to factor out this term right here. So this is going to be r squared r minus 4 times r minus 4. And I'm going to rewrite this again to show you that there's four different solutions to this algebraic expression. So the solutions are going to be r1 is going to equal zero, r2 is going to equal zero, r3 is going to be four, and r4 is going to be four. So these values right here repeat themselves as well as these values repeat themselves. So we have to account for that when we do the general solution. So when we write the general solution, for each repeated term, we multiply by a power of x. So if there is two repeated solutions like in this one, we'll write the general solution for the first one like how we usually do it. And then for the second one, we write the general solution how we usually do it times x. So we'll say that the general solution to this equation is going to be c1 e to the 0x plus c2 x e to the 0x. And the same goes for r3 and r4. So let's say you had a higher order of multiplicity. So let's say you have three. So I'm just going to continue off from this term right here. So the next term would be plus c3 x squared e to the 0x. So after each successive term, the power of the x term increases by one for every repeated root. So now I'm going to clean up this general equation and it will be the solution to this differential equation. So this is going to be the general solution to this differential equation. So hopefully this helped you with the idea of multiplicity and how you apply it to your general solution. If you have any requests on solving any kind of differential equation, leave them in the comments below. Be more than happy to make a video about it and help you with your studying. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.